Hello everyone, today we are going to talk about finding this limit of the floor function as x is approaching 2. So the way that we're going to do it is that we are going to graph the function and see the limit from the left side and the right side and see what happens. Okay, so first we are going to just review how the floor function behaves. And then so let's say if we plug in a 2 in there, that's an integer that we're plugging in there. So you know that the floor function is also known as the greatest integer function. So what happened is that whatever number that we plug in here, we are going to get an integer that is equal to or less than this number. So if this is an integer, then we are going to get the integer back. And if we plug in a number that is not an integer, what happens? We are going to also get the that same integer here, the 2, right? Because that's 2.4, so the largest integer that is less than 2.4 will just be 2. And then if we plug in, um, let's say, negative 4.6, for example, then what happens? We are going to also need to output in the largest integer that will be less than this number that we put into the function, so it would be like 5. Okay, so that's good. And then now we are going to graph the function. And so what happened is that we are going to, um, let's say, just imagine that we plug in things like point. 4.1.5. Okay, so what happened is that we it will output the the integer that is zero because that zero would be the last largest integer less than all those numbers. So you see that we are going to and then we put an open circle right here. It's that when we plug in a one, we actually will get one, right? So we are not going to get zero. So now we get this dot here and then just keep drawing it. And then again, open circle at this spot here because when we get to two, we are going to get two for the y value. So we are going to at this one and then following the same pattern, then we can actually just grab all of them. Well, actually, we don't need that many pieces right here. It's really because we are just going to let x approach 2, right? So what we're looking at is actually this spot right here. So this is 2, right? So we are looking at this spot right here. So now what happened is that we are going to just compute the limit. Let's say if we are approaching 2 from the left side. Okay, so let's just take the limit as x approaching 2 from the left side of this function. What happens is that we are going to get, well, based on the graph, then we are going to just get what? If you draw some arrows right here, you can see that it's approaching one. Okay, so we just get one right here. And then on the other hand, if you are approaching two from the right side, then let's just draw some arrows right here. What happens then the function will be approaching what two? So we get two here. And then you can see that those two one-sided limits are not the same, right? So, yeah, so they're not the same. And then that tells us what? That tells us that the limit as x approaching to 2, and then this function does not exist. And then we're finished with this problem.